right, guys. We're going to be working on uh, Feast and Friends today. Uh, and we got some new stuff to be working on. So, I got my coffee, I got my candles, I got my water. Well, let's have fun. So, uh, da 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 da. Uh, here we go. Da 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 da. Just, uh, uh, okay, I don't quite think that's the right thing. Okay, um, there's that, there's that, and there's that. Let's start with this one because I think it's going to be the simplest. So, that's... that's uh, okay, alright, alright, alright. Yes, here we go. That's not helpful. Uh, but here we go. So first things first on the dice prep screen. There is a this is a liquid. This was mainly just a copy of the chop game. Cool. And I am doing that in progress. Um, and just because I'm doing these things, here we go. We're going to add this also to another list, being the bug list. Yay, now it's on two lists. All right, so, yay. All right, stream is up and working. Okay, so, what we are looking for. We got our knife here, edge, which is just a transform, and we got this, which I think is just, go to the scene view, but I'm pretty sure this is just an actual, like, knife model, right? Yep, that is. If you look at the UI for this, come on, here we go. Um, okay, so cutting board is what we want. We're gonna turn off. Let's see, will this work? Actually, that'll work. Okay, and so we go to the UI. Um, so we got invisible knife, that's nothing. Guideline canvas, that's what we want. We've got chop points and slice zone. So hey, I bet if I turn this on. Yeah. Uh, let's turn Gizmos off just to make sure. Yep, that is indeed. That's a line. That's going from there to there. Perfect. Well, not perfect, but point being. <laughs> uh, so here we go. Um, this is interesting. Okay, overlay, sure, fine. Canvas skater, constant pixel size, no. We want to, actually, before I do anything, first things first, go to SVN, update. While it's updating, go to the prefab, see if the cutting board screen is available and if it is then we claim it main menu living room and select master it is perfect so we're going to screen cutting board is in progress and nope that one is me there we go right. okay that's the bug that we're working on and we go here it's updated yay and now we go to Unity, and we import all our new things, and then we can start making changes. Okay. All right. Hey. Okay. That. No. Come on. Everything hidden, except for the cutting board. Thank you. All right, and then here on the cutting board, we have this thing, which is on. We'll revert that in a minute. Um, we want to scale it with screen size. And 
I think we want it to match the width. Pretty sure. Actually, I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, okay. Um, and then slice zone here. Um, that's. with you later. In fact, that's actually an entirely different thing. So for now, we will apply that, but um, we will revert that and go up to here because slicing visualization. Oh, hey, that. Okay. Nope. That's entirely different. Okay. Um, See a canvas, do, 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 do. and then we have. I think what I'm looking for is anything where I think the guideline canvas. That's what I'm looking for. Anything in the guideline canvas, and I'm not seeing anything here. What about chopping mini game? Guideline canvas there, cool. Dicing mini game. Guideline canvas there. Okay. Uh, peeling mini game does not have a guideline canvas, and slicing mini game. Uh, okay, cool. All right. So yeah, guideline canvas right there. Um, I think the easiest way would be to just delete that because. Don't need it necessarily. However, I'm not actually convinced that that's true. So let's go to code. Uh, Cutting board. Okay. Uh, dice mini game is going to be this, and I think it inherits from the points. Not you. From cutting mini game. Okay. And this is the this is the generic mini game class. So that's good. Okay, so they are entirely different. I know they're based on the same thing, but they're they're different. And that's good. That means that we can make changes here and um not worry about affecting anything else. Okay. Okay, so the guideline canvas gets set off and on there, and that's it. So what if it didn't? In fact, what if guideline canvas didn't exist? All right. So I don't think I'm actually using it. Not using it, I have something completely else for these chop points that go somewhere else entirely. So I don't use the guideline canvas at all. So that should be fine. Um, and then discard any changes, that's fine. Then we hit play. Actually, we're going to stop playing because I did not delete my save file first. Do, 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 do. Thank you. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, here we go. Knock, knock. I just want to cook. Yeah. I need an onion and a trout. Thank you very much. Okay. First, I'm going to go to the trout because this is. Okay, 
I do have a guideline here, which is good, because I should. Okay. And then I should not have the guideline here. Perfect. Okay. Good news. Don't have the guideline. Bad news. Don't have <laughs> the points. So that's not good. Okay. I bet. Dice minigame. Chop points is under the guideline canvas. But what if it wasn't? What if chop points was under the regular UI? Okay. So let's open this up. Our safe UI, my UI. Okay. okay. So what if here? Goes on. Okay. So why why you do this? You're there. You're there. Uh huh. Chop points is what? What are you? Why are you? Okay, you're with and hundred. Okay. Oh, that's why. Do 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 do. That's much easier. Okay. All right. Guess what? Bunk. Okay. We go up to here and now chop points. Chop points. Chop points. Chop points. Where are you? Uh, dicey mini game. Chop points. Yay. Okay. That should be fine. I'm not convinced, so. We have, let's keep going back until, okay, we have chop points here, here we go, okay. All right, you're at scale on, you're at scale zero. What if we turned you on so that you're at, a, you're at an actual scale? Here we go, here's that, yay. And now this comes up here. Okay, that's good. And now we turn you off. All right. One thing at a time. Let's do one thing at a time. Let's do this safely. <laughs> this is 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 where we're going with this. So, mm -hmm, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can continue the story. So I want yada yada yada. Yep, hello, ingredients. Thank you. Onion, dice. Okay, we have those. Good. All right. Um, now, I'm gonna do that because that's what it should be. Like, like that's pretty real. It should be that. Let's try again. I know how to cook. Not my first time. Thank you very much. Yep. Hey, huzzah! Flip it. Yay. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Alright. Cool beans. Alright. Yay. No line. Chop points work. Boom. Done. Let's. Yeah, we got rid of the guideline canvas in that mini game because we don't need it anymore. And we changed the prefab to move chop points into the regular UI because, uh, again, we. It's fine. That's, that's what we need. That's what we want. Um, yep. 
good. So we commit that. Removing the extra guard. That right there is my alarm to go pick up my daughter, but I'm walking from home today because her school's canceled. Because of weather. Yay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Alright. Back to book up this. Ready for review. Back to the list of tasks. Hooray. Okay. Uh, one of these two bucks. See, there's the potato and carrot out, and the drag and drop reviews. We're gonna do this one next. All right. So, that's what I thought. All right. When we select Julianne cuts as a prep. This is seen and enjoyed by someone, but if it's not, that's okay. I make jokes to make myself laugh. <sighs> okay, uh, in here. All right. Uh, shrunking. You will see what I mean. So. We just want to, just want, we're, we're gonna go, just go and we're gonna pause the game right at the moment so that we can just see the thing that is there and investigate. Because it looks like a carrot, but maybe it thinks it's a potato. If it just looks like a carrot, but it's actually a potato, well, that's actually probably easier to fix. Because then we just need to make the potato look like a potato instead of a carrot. But if it's something more systemic, then deal with it then. Alright, ready? Alright. See? Carrot. Alright. New game object. Well, that's closer. Alright. Alright, none of you is. Oh, right, I forgot. There we go. Okay, we got the cutting board, we got that. Uh, 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 uh. Nope, nope, not there. Where? Where are you? You're somewhere. You exist. No, you do. do, 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 do. There's an extra pan there. Huh. Okay. 
Um, that nurse green. No, I don't actually want there. I want this. Here we go. Where are you? What is that? Is it a giant thing? Okay. But really, where are you? You are way up in no man's land. You know what? I don't care. You guys. Okay. All right. And this spawn point, end point, output point. All right. Point, it's camera, camera, point light, gunny board, partner, threshold. Uh, cool. Destroy ingredient, produce buttons. How do you do that? Cutting board, add processed output point. Okay. Prefab, get cut prefab for ingredient type of cut. Instantiate, prefab here. Da, 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 da. And. Okay. So, hey, potato. What? Do you... How do you do this? What do you have set? Is this your fault? I'm gonna assume it's your fault. Has circle chopped and diced. Okay, no override prefab or override values and no alternate cut prefabs. It can be battened, so that's good. All right. So, is it cutting board that we have that? I think it's actually the game. Let's see, player data, cut prefabs. Here we go, Julian, Julian and Julian, hey. Okay, all right, so those are the carrots. However, cook food transition, material parameters, Hmm. 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 Game. Uh, let's go back to the potato. Get the potato peeled. Alright, value. Yeah, yeah. Cooking potato, potato peel. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Yeah, I don't see anything here that isn't that. Okay, so we go back to here. Get cut prefab for you. I'm getting the right prefab. Actually, I don't think that is where we need to be looking. We need to be looking here. Okay, material is material to clone. Uh, uh, uh. On enable. There's that. Screen cutting board. Material parameters is new cook material parameters. You use material is material updatable. Basically there's ingredient. Is material updatable. Ingredient cut is not cut and also okay. Okay, da 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 
Right. Conclude transition. Material.net. Game reference to the material that has been cloned. The specific instance of this game object, you use it to update the parameters to the shader. Um, okay. I'm not even going to address that right now. Uh, the material update code here is not the most optimized. Here we go, material deploy. I think this is the Construct a man to specify material from our assets to use as mesh material. Why? Since we are changing the material on a per instance basis, Beave itself can end up in material copy that is not the original asset material. We can counter this by specifying base material here if it exists. This will be the material that is always used to clone from. That's true. However, um, you can always use the instanced version of a material and you can always um, edit the material properties instead of the material itself or at least no you can edit material properties if you can do that in the base rendering pipeline I think it's not necessarily implemented in the script or rendering pipeline which I think this uses um, I'll have to look into that but that's not what we're trying to fix today. We just want to make sure that this gets set correctly. So, ingredient dropper. That's what I want to see. Okay. So, drop chopped up ingredient. Well, okay, so there's this. Ingredient process, slice material, cool. Ingredient initializer script. Don't know that that's it. Okay, so let's go back to the game. Git cut prefab four. If we hit back, we. That's not what I want then. Um, okay, we get the cut prefab. Okay, alright, so. We. Want, okay, batten threshold. Okay, on threshold hit. Here we go. Uh, produce battens. And processed. Here we go. Get the cut prefab four. Instantiate the prefab. And that is going to be. Oh, okay. Yep. It's not what we want because it's just a. That's just a generic thing. Okay. Uh, material is. Um, but this is used a bunch. So, yeah, get and processed. Okay. So, yeah. I mean, that's true. Uh, get component cook food transition ingredient is equal to ingredient. The mesh runner changing. Yeah. Okay, select a prefab based on the type of cut. So we get the prefab there. Then we spawn it. And then. Couple of things. Fine. I 
think... No, they're not the same. They should be the same. They're not. However, that line is the same. This line is the same. That line sets it to zero. This line sets it to whatever the position is. Material is the material, and material is equal to new material, material, whatever. And then color every color, okay, then we do this. I don't think that it's terribly important that this happens after this, so. Okay, logic prefab bar cut is equal to. Yeah, hey, what if our cut is equal to and processed to three dot zero parent? Okay. And then material. Deleted the wrong line. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Okay. Then, so I don't need that. I don't actually need to do that. I just need this. Ingredient. Huh. Okay. Alright. This. It is and processed. Vector three dot zero parent. Da, 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 da. All right. That's not what I want. I want that. This way, I don't have to have this code twice. So anything that does this can do this, anything that does this can do this, that's fine. Now, material, so all this does is it gets the material makes a new version of it, sets its color to the ingredient color, and then resets the material to this new material. I didn't even get into that. The material should be... Okay. Here is what we're going to do. If ingredients don't cut is equal to Sure, this is gonna work. No, equal to. There we go. If that's true, then material is gonna be equal to ingredient dot type dot. Da, 
da, da, da, da, da, da. I want the Batner screen. How do you do this? How do you get the Batner material? The, the peeling material. On threshold hit. Da, 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 da. Actually, it's not here. It's in the screen kind of board, isn't it? Uh, Neil said your thing. Yay, Raycast issues. Okay. Alright, um, bop, 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 bop. in the, yeah, this has nothing to do with peeling, the cutting board does the peeling, so we go to the cutting board, because I, what I was going to do is I was going to get the material from the other, from, from the ingredient type, but we don't want the material from the ingredient type. We want to use the same material, the exact same material, as was on the previous game object because that is the one that has all of the peeling data and whatever. So, let's see here. Uh, peeling minigame, here we go. So, peel material. Yep, so we have alpha mask, inner texture, and normal. Okay. All right. You just layer over, don't you? Interesting. That's exactly what that does. Huh. On the one hand, we want it to reflect that line there. I don't, I don't think it really matters that much at the moment. So maybe we just do want the cooked food material. Okay, all right, so then that's what we're going to do. All right, um, dot type and um, Processed slice material. I think that's what it wants. Okay. Now, let's go to the cutting board. Ingredient. This is the ingredient that we want. Cut is uncut. So, that's not gonna work. But what can we do? How can I know that? How can I know that I'm currently trying to make a julienne ingredient? Should reset button. Um, Ooh. Ooh. I'm pretty sure I have a current minigame variable. I don't know that it's going to show me this here. Score callouts. Last Type. Okay, type of cut. Here we go. This. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay. So, that ingredient cut. Type of cut. There we go. There we go. And in cutting board. Yeah, that's what I want. All right. That should work. All right. Let me know when you're done. You're done. Good. Good. All right. Moving on. Do, 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 do. All right. Skip. Huh? I need that oil and potatoes. I don't want that. I want onion. I want trout. Thank you. Rusty's go to porridge. 
I don't know how this is forage, but you know what? Doesn't matter. Dun, 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 dun. Doesn't matter. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Here we go. Alright. This is just gonna work. Awesome. That's great. <sighs> Something. Something changed, so that's good. <laughs> <sighs> okay, let's see here. Material cut component mesh render dot material. Cut cut. Gradients of type. Material. We got a new material. Material. Okay. Kill that color. Find the color. Cut that. Go much further. That material is equal to material. See, this is. Um. Gonna do anything different. We're just gonna be like, well, I changed a couple of things. So, all right. Let's see. If I don't change the material, does it still work? Because I did change the function. So let's make sure it's still working. Mm hmm. Skip. Da da da. da. Hey, merchant. I need all of your fine onions and trout. Thank you very much. Let's just go to porridge. Yep. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Boom 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 boom. Control Shift Shunk P. Alright. Didn't see anything, but um the bottom there. Oh. Okay, good news, good news. Okay. So the good news is I see these here. The bad news is they're in the wrong place. So. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Alright. I'm willing to bet I know what happened here. Yeah, okay, so. Yeah, so that sets the local position to vector 30. And that one is just the overall position. So, we don't want to set that to vector 30. We want to set that to 
parent's position. <sighs> yep, that's what it looks. Um, yep, alright. You know, that's, that's easy enough. Okay. And now we go back to here. Okay. Alright, that is the difference between local position and position. You know, I can see... I can see why it did the thing that it did. But... Will you let me... Do I still have everything? Yes, good. Okay. Yay. Okay. Right. Uh, it took too long to do that, but that's okay. Wait. Okay. Go back to here, and now. How we do that? Okay. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Do the story. Knock, knock, knock. Skip, skip. Merchant, give me your finest onion and trout. I appreciate you. Toss a copper to your. I don't even remember. Is it Tassel Copper to the Witcher? Tassel Copper to the Bard? Tassel. Uh, give him money. Here's a tip. Hey! That worked. Okay. Now. Now. We look at the ingredients. We want to test to see. So, um, an almond can be battened. Interesting. An apple can be battened. A beet can be battened. A carrot can be battened, but that's not going to help us. I think apple and beet. I don't think a beet should be battened. A parsnip can be battened. Interesting. Potato, yeah, we'll do that. Sweet potato, that makes sense. Turnip, same thing as a beet, I'm not sure that should be bad. And a water chestnut, okay. So, let's test apple. That's how we're gonna do this. Um, and what we're gonna do is data. Recipes. Here we go. Da, 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 da. And I'm going to search for uh, porridge is what it was. Right, next, Rusty's go to porridge. I guess there's that. You're not. I, I want. I want to search here. This is. No, I want to search here. This is where I want. What about perfection? Rusty's go to porridge. Perfect. All right, and dead ingredient icon name. Cool. Associated ingredients, cool. And we go to here, and we want the apple.
we will revert this. But we're going to use this to test. Description. Cook, add onion, add potato. Drop some onions and pans down. Okay. All right. Let's see if that works. So first thing is a. What we expect is it should be an apple and it should look correct. Okay, we got that bow still here. Let's Before I do that, Rusty's go to porridge. Yes, apple. Okay, try it not. Alright, I need an apple, a trout, and onion. Thank you. Yep, alright, we put the apple in. Do, 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 think that worked and now what we do is we test because I'm willing to bet that everything turned into a carrot so we go to uh, it ended up not being that um, it's the cutting board we can close this we can close this uh, I don't need that so cutting board if I do that then it should be a carrot and we will delete our save. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Here we go. Hit play. Go to test. New story. Yes, please. Thank you. Lock. Skip. Yuppie yuppie. Merchant. I need an apple. And a trout. And an onion. And now I can make you a fish go to porridge. And we slice this here apple. Yay. We chunk it into carrots. Yay. All right, so that means that it was indeed happening to everything and we have indeed fixed it. Oink. So could that be a better Material for the apple? Yeah, potentially. Could we light it better? Definitely. Uh, but that's not the bug. We will address that some other time. Um, and should the. Yeah, so we'll. Positioning of the ingredient over the shunker. Um, yeah, anyways. Yeah. Um, here we go. Problem solved. So, we don't need that. Come in here. We will revert you, because we don't actually want that to be an apple. But we will do this. And then, hey, Shunker no longer magically transforms all ingredients to carrots. Yay. All right. Um... And then, what we want, I should actually test the that so that make sure that we can actually cook them. Pretty sure we can, but, um, while this is going, hey look, this is actually ready for review. Um, and then, so the next one is going to be this, however, we're still here. Continue the story. Um, I want to. There we got arrows. Nice. Uh, 
I want to keep cooking, but I can't. Skip. No. Okay. Oh yeah, I have a bat in that one. But that's not what the recipe calls for anymore. Cool. Yunk. Little french fries. That's a pretty good score. Alright. Kick it again. Spices. We need hot root. Sure. That's not what we need. Milkweed. Shake. Turn it off. Finish. Dunk. What a porridge. Oh, this is beautiful. This is lovely. Okay. Everything works. Yeah. Um, Alright. Well done here. Last book. Look at. Ooh. There we go. Um, the description of the bug is... Drag. Drag. Ingredients. Onto the cutting board in order to cut it. W. Alright, and we're gonna set this to in progress. Okay. Uh, 
uh, no, we don't go here. We go here. We go. Um, and we're going to delete the save file. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. All right. So, new story. Here we go. Back. Actually, no, I want to go here. Skip. And I need a parsnip. We're just going to try it with the simple recipe. Parsnip. Thank you. All right. Yep. Yada yada yada. Okay. So, yeah. So, like, there it doesn't work for some reason. Okay. So. Alright. Let's go to the scene. We're gonna go to the cutting board. I said we're gonna go. Is this right? Yeah, here we go. I want to see. I want in analysis. Here we go. Physics debugger. That's what I want. All right. Is this too much data? Probably. Let's see here. Okay, I don't see. Don't see. Don't see an extra thing there. Which is very interesting. I do see a nice big collider there. Alright. <sighs> okay. Reset button, spawn point, process pieces, cutting board pivot, that's cool, spawn radius, cut type buttons, cinema machine stuff, other powers, ingredients, spawn point, fireworks prefab, okay, reset button, warning message, not helpful. Uh, okay, so we go back to the game. We control shift P. This here. This buddy. Drop point game object. Okay, what I want to know is what is controlling you? Is this under game? Cut prefabs, game data, ingredient types, missions, resupplies, locations, nope, nothing there. All white, fair game, fair character. Dark background prefab, mobile adapter, real plan, no dishes. Yeah, this could be station could have one uh, yeah, not seeing anything. I'm not seeing interesting, okay. Alright. Um Global Canvas is it here? Just cooking shows? No. It's level canvas. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna go home. Fine. To 
Interesting that the home button doesn't work there. That is a totally different bug that we should fix. Oh, oh come on. Okay. Continue store. Skip. Yada yada. Right, parsnips. Yes, I do indeed have that. Alright, now I want to know. Why doesn't that show? And drop points got turned off. Why? Okay. Alright. What if control F drop points? Drop point? Wait a second. Do you have a You don't have any drop point stuff. Okay, drop point. Huh? Find all references. Find references and scene. Who has that on a global canvas? Do you have a drop point? I don't see anything here. Okay. Got the button recipe. Next button can. Cutting board. Onions, puzzle, slice, slice, cans, da 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 da, slice of the game. Game, that's the game. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Okay, ingredients spawn point. You don't have anything. Ingredients, you don't have anything. You don't have anything. Okay. Scoring display, ingredients score, slice, VFX, da 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 da. Okay. What? What's happening here? Okay. Mm, nothing there. Nothing there. A slice lines, drop points, model label stash, score display, prep welcome UI, pivot. Background, this is the main camera, the original edition of camera safe, we got the event system base input. Okay, yeah, I'm just not seeing anything. Um, okay, alright, let's just key, you know what? Uh, drop a point, countertop pantry. Okay, there's nine asset references, interesting. Start dropped. Okay, what calls this? UI quick bar drag handler. Interesting. Alright, score if score rect is null, then Okay, if dragging inventory item in that system that is pointer over game object false. Or can drop on canvas, dropping, dragging, or anything else. Game object, yeah, current element is not equal to null, then drop point is equal to drop point. Drop point, drop point, drop, drop ingredients. Cool. Dropping, dragging, item on and drag. Uh, on drag. Game object clone, statue, game object. Then drag game should cause a clone to be used. This drag, for instance, move the spell out of the spell bar. Interesting. This is there. Very interesting. Okay, on begin drag start position, the ingredient is equal to game object. 
duck it could go to play ingredient, but mm, inventory ingredient button is equal to bop, 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 bop. scroll rack, scroll racks. Do you have Okay, this uses a stack candle to allow the classes of which candle tricks is being moved. Is clone, control canvas, blue parent, start position, drop point, game object, prefab. Do you have any references anywhere? Yes, Andre. If physics ray cast, I would hit. Okay, so you like our drag handler. That's what I think I need. And I think. I think that is under global canvas, player main inventory, uh, we get inventory UI, canvas group, recipe panel, background, no, recipe panel, uh, normal ingredients, scroll view. Correct. Okay, so good news. So scroll correct. That has other things. Ingredients grid. Ingredients. Plan player needs button. Player has button. Ah, okay, so if we go to the game. Uh, hey, look. Let's go here. Uh, I want this. Da, 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 da. I'm just gonna keep clicking till we get here. Yes, this is not optimally set up. We'll deal with that. I don't know. Here we go. Okay, no, it is this thing. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I get, it, I get, it. I get. It. Um, you know what? Let's put you there for now. Okay, inventory ingredient button. Inventory UI click track mark. Here we go. And drop on it. Perfect. Okay. There's that. And then this. That was not what I want. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You're here somewhere. Okay. I don't think it's here. Um, it is. It means here on the global canvas. We got that. We got that. Like, because if I turn that off, yeah, that's it's So it's here somewhere. It's not under the safe area. Ah, it's here. Okay. And you, you're just a thing. Interesting, so inventory ingredient button, yeah. Um, and if we go to here, that's the original one. And ah, okay, it is, it's right here. You might come in, so, all right. Okay, okay. So there's that, and that one. Okay, okay. All right. Now, one second. I think I think I know what's happening because I think I know what's happening because when I was in the cutting board screen, here we go. Slice lines this. They're off though. No, that's on. Okay, chop points. Scoring display. Here we go. Okay, that's a thing. It shouldn't be affecting anything. You. You are though. Okay. All right. Console. Ah, yeah. I bet 
if that's what that is. Okay. So. You two are being naughty. Because you are Raycast targets. And now if I drag you out. Yay! No issues! Okay. That. That was actually relatively easy. Okay, we just had to figure out what the rogue UI elements were that were blocking my raycast. Okay. I can handle that. So, we go here and we set U to false, and then on here we apply that to the prefab, and then on here we apply that to the prefab. And now, just in case, we play it again and we test again. Make sure that that fix works. Skip. Da da da. Fried parsnips. Yep, we go. Yep, and. Yay! Alright. Good news. Yep, alright. So, before I do anything else, I do want to just be a little bit extra safe. Let's just go through here. Is there anything here? Okay, so mode label. You know what? You're not a right cast target. Good. Okay, show debug info. Are you a right cast target? Yes, you shouldn't be. Uh, peeling finish button. You should be a raycast target, and the text is going to be inside of you, so I don't care. Uh, peeled progress. Your background, and you know what? You should not be a raycast target. This text should not be a raycast target. This slider is not interactable, which is good. And then we go down to the fill area, which is just a rec transform. And then this image, which should not be a right cast target. Cool. Slice lines. Sliced guideline. Not a ray cast target. Good, good. Box ray cast. No. Good. We got errors. Da 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 da. Okay. I'm going to assume that this part is on purpose. And ignore it. Chop points is fine. Cut type options. Uh, that's a bit of reset warning. It's a button. Warning panel. Okay, slice line. Here we go. Not a raycast target. Not a raycast target. Lovely. Scoring display. Yep, yep. That's what we just fixed. Ingredient score. You raycast targets? Yes. How about you don't be? Divisor, not a raycast target. Okay. Uh, clock display, are you a raycast target? Not anymore. Tutorial UI, Neil has been doing that. We're going to assume everything is correct there. Tutorial content, tutorial window. Okay, actually, this is more. That's it. Okay, pivot, cutting board, all point ingredients, process, conveyor belt, yep. Uh, guideline canvas, graphic raycaster, slice zone, image, raycast target. I assume that this is correct. Knife, edge, da 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 da, yep. This is not, okay, yeah, I think this is all correct. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Spotlight. Plane. Mesh collider. Sort of visit. Okay. Prep table. Table background. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. Yep. And we'll say that. All right. Then we'll commit. More consistency with a previous drop-in. Okay. 
Thanks. Yay. All right, and then we're gonna add a comment here. Turns out a little text. Yay! Easy fix. Send. Ready for review. Okay, guys, I think that has been a productive stream. So thanks for joining me today, and uh, hope you have a good day. Bye.